Hey everybody, Ian from Novel Music here, and in this video we're going to take a look at Selfie, which is our preset manager for the Seeds collection that can help you jump from one state to another and have wildly different settings uh, within your project to get lots of different types of sounds and ideas. So let's take a look. Selfie can store up to 64 presets. Now what is stored in a preset? Well, any of the currently loaded and currently active seeds devices in your live set. The state of that device, meaning all the settings, uh, the way the parameters are set, will be stored with the preset. So this allows us to take a snapshot or a selfie of how the devices are configured and then jump to a totally different state depending on what we do. Now what isn't stored in a selfie preset? The hub preset ports are not stored any random values being generated when the, for instance, the lock is unlocked, we get a stream of random values which is determining the chance-based parameters on a given device like Suite 16 here. Those uh, values are not stored. And the last thing that is not stored is if it's a device that has uh, mappable modulation options like on Polymath, for instance, then the mapped parameter cannot be changed and then stored. So once the parameter is mapped it has to stay that way. So let's go ahead and, and uh, let's make a preset. Here I've got a simple sequence. I'll save that. Now I'm going to move yeah, I'll move the scale offset down a step and I'll save that preset. But maybe I'll also, um, yeah, I'll change the, uh, I'd like to do five steps here for this one, so I'll save that. Anytime you make a change, you want it to be in the same preset, all you have to do is hit save again. Now for this third preset, why don't we shift over to the minor, and let's go ahead and yeah, do six steps there, and make it an octave lower. Now let's start at the first preset. Oh, and each one of these presets, now I'm going to revise the uh, Sweet 16 Pulse. So this one, I'll keep the way it is. This one, yeah, I'll keep, I'll set it this way, so I hit save. And the third one, yeah, I like that. In fact, I'll change the repeats to one. Good. Save that. Great. Now, we have three presets here, and we can change them from one to the next by clicking on the grid. Another way, however, that we can change presets is to use the hub input here. And you can see I already have port A selected. I have an, a hub device over here loaded that is sending MIDI on port A. So the MIDI that comes through this track is not actually being passed through. We're just taking it, sending it on port A, and then it's being received here by Selfie. And the way this works is MIDI note 36 will toggle the first preset, MIDI note 37, the second, and so on, all the way up to uh, the 64th pad, or 64th preset rather. So I can trigger them with my MIDI keyboard and while it's playing another uh, option we have is called sync and what that does is when a preset is selected it forces anything that has a sequence uh, component to it, a sequencer component like Polymath and Sweet 16 that you see that have the reset button, that forces a hard reset, meaning that 
Both of them will start from step one in the case of polymath or uh, in, from the beginning of the count for sweet 16. So let's try that. Yeah, so every time that I'm doing this, the sequence jumps to the first step. We also can copy presets by pressing the copy button and then selecting a destination slot. We can delete a preset by pressing the delete key and selecting which preset we want to delete. And the push button here refers to the custom push pad layout that ships with this device. I made a separate video detailing that, which I'll link to in this one. And those are the basic features for Selfie. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the Novel Music YouTube channel. I appreciate that, and please stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.